So uh, give me a cheer if you're having some drinks tonight. Yes. I love that. Hey, I love getting drunk with my friends, right? I love it because when you do, they get impressed by every little thing that you manage to do, right? Like I'd be wasted and I could just hear them whispering in the background. They're like, oh my God, she can stand. Oh my God, she can walk. And I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> wait till they see me drive. Just a bit of fun. <laughs> After a drunken night, I hate getting into that taxi ride home. I hate taxis. Like once I got in a taxi ride so terrible, I started fantasizing about public transport. <laughs> and I just wanted to ditch this taxi mid-trip. But I'm also a really awkward person and I'm a terrible liar. So I was like to the taxi driver, oh, you know what, it's all right. You could just drop me off here. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and he went, but I thought you said you lived in Epping. And I was like, oh, no, um, I forgot. Um, yeah, uh, my home is actually here. Um, yeah, um, I forgot. I actually live in the Lane Cove Tunnel. <laughs> now, I love doing live comedy again. Like, it's nice to be back doing live comedy. I remember when we couldn't do it over the pandemic, right? It was really brutal. I had to pick up all these new hobbies. Like, I started watching MMA. <laughs> Now, I used to think that MMA was a pointless sport between two overly aggressive men, but then I watched a match between an Asian chick and a white chick, and the Asian chick won, and now I love MMA. <laughs> it's so good seeing an Asian woman in that much power, because you don't see that a lot in the media. Like, the last Asian woman that I can think of, pre-Squid Game, is Kim Jong-un's sister. <laughs> But the thing is, I'm so used to associating Asian women in the media with K-pop, I imagine that's how she gives out her orders. She's just like, death to America. <laughs> I remember the pandemic really clearly in my mind as well because I lived all by myself through all of lockdown. It was brutal, right? No good for my mental health. Like the entire time it felt like my emotions were bouncing around all over the place. Kind of like that Microsoft Windows screensaver. <laughs> I'd just be like, angry, <laughs> sad, <laughs> horny. <laughs> and sometimes I'd do that thing where it gets caught in the corner. <laughs> sad, horny, sad, horny, sad, horny. Shame. <laughs> uh, also during the pandemic, I uh, started posting videos online, right? Yeah. <laughs> And the first time I did this, I started getting comments on them. Like, I got this one comment and it was like, you're not funny. And then I got another comment that was like, you should quit comedy. And I was just like, oh, wow, two comments, that's so good. <laughs> but by far the comment that I get the most is about my voice. And I'm aware that my face is Chinese, but my voice makes it sound like I start fights at pubs. <laughs> I think I'd be a great telemarketer for the pokies. <laughs> or a great spokesperson for the casino. Because my voice attracts the bogans and my face attracts the high rollers. <laughs> Sometimes I like to imagine my voice and my face as different people. You know, like my face would obviously be someone oriental and my voice would be someone who still uses the word oriental. <laughs> Look, the comments that I get online, they can be quite mean sometimes. Like I got this comment the other day and it said, just because you're a citizen doesn't mean you're Australian. Yeah. And I just replied, cunt. <laughs> How's that for Australian? <laughs> but look, I wasn't born here. I was born in a different country and I did actually have to take a citizenship test and it's quite difficult. What they do is they take you off into a little room and then you have to prove that you can do the nut bush. <laughs> it's tricky. My relatives also moved to Australia as well. Um, and that basically meant that I went to a lot of different citizenship ceremonies. But because I was a little kid, I thought they were all for me. I was just like, wow, Australia loves me. <laughs> but then I went over to Queensland and I was like, oh no, they don't. <laughs>
Yeah, I do see China in the headlines a lot though, right? Like here's a really common headline that I see about China. It's like, China's gonna take over the world. I read that and I'm like, oh no. But then I remember that I'm Chinese and I'm like, oh yay! 